Hey guys, it's Lena from the Land of Gods, and we are doing the monthly map spread for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September. Guys, please remember these are general readings. Times fluid, energies can be reversed. So please take what resonates and leave the rest for others to receive. If you are here for the first time, welcome aboard. Welcome to my channel. And if you've been kind enough to come back, thank you so very much. Welcome back, Librans. Two more shuffles and then we should be ready. The monthly map spread deals, or I should say dives in the energies much further than just, you know, what's up? It's also to do with how it is interacting with each other and where it's taking you. So this is the last one. We are ready. We are, of course, going to clarify all of this. And to wrap up the reading, we will take a guidance message. And here we are. Six of air. Peaceful times ahead leaving some shit behind leaving some shit behind you are focused on your mental well-being which is absolutely fantastic four of waters yeah you are taking that opportunity that came your way when things were not really looking that great it's like blessing in disguise for some people i hear and um not necessarily uh, the gift wrapped up in the wrapping paper of your choice but what came out of that whatever possibility or opportunity is going to be nice so even if it looks a little dull don't be fizzled out okay four of water eight of waters look you are definitely leaving some shit behind and rising above the storm in both these cards let me show you this is all rising above the clouds, riding, rising above the whatever crap in life that came along. You are kind of on top of it right now. You're not in the eye of the storm. You've gone through that, definitely. There was a tough time, but now you are rising above that. Yes wonderful some more for my librans on the four of water side page of fire look new energies coming in new opportunities coming in new possibilities coming in eight of waters guys we are definitely leaving something behind we definitely are and now looking forward to it rising above the storm and now moving forward at least looking forward to move forward yeah looking forward to move forward and grab this whatever gift that universe is sending you even if you do not like the color of the gift wrapper you're still keeping positive or at least you're told to this is no okay but this is oh okay wow look at you choosy you look getting all ready to you know take that leap of faith to take that flight and to come this far it hasn't been easy okay to prepare yourself to finally spread your wings and be ready to take that flight it hasn't been easy so far yes agreed that storm that you are now on top you definitely went through that now you're all set. You are really focusing on your well-being. Good for you, Librans. Give me some more for this eight of air, eight of waters. Six of fire, look. Six, eight, eight, six. For some, it is a sign. Please go six, eight, eight, six and find the meaning of that angel number. And this is really working for your well-being, as I said, and for your success. This is success coming your way. You, Whatever you are trying to do right now, you have gone through some shitty storm and now things are slowly clearing up and things are started things have started looking good better than before for sure 
queen of fire ambition coming back in determination coming back in confidence coming back in lots of confidence coming back in passion coming back in something that you are doing that is making you feel really really good about yourself like yeah man i can do that the fool ready to take that leap as i said with the eight of sorry nine of air all set to take that leap beautiful what a beautiful flow here wow look at you librans wonderful air signs all in all seem to be really coming out of some shitty phase and you know really now consciously working towards their well-being i mean aquas was was the same or similar i would say eight of earth focus you're really putting in that effort you are you know doing the homework that is needed okay we have 888 by the way that is another number queen of waters and this is giving you a sense of calm a sense of control you're not really like you know going berserk all over the place no it's like whatever this new thing that you have prepared yourself for or looking forward to has given you the sense of calm and confidence and you know heart in heart it's gonna work it's gonna work it's gonna get you that success but work is needed and you are putting in that effort the focus is very much there it's not like you are winging it no -uh. this time around you're putting in the effort for sure yes you are two of waters two of waters there's lots of energy alignment there's a lot of love i hear this could be also self-love this could be self-care this could be love for somebody else this this could be you know as i said that self well-being focused on your own well-being that was how we started this entire spread beautiful beautiful let us clarify let us clarify loves six of air spirit why do we have six of air please clarify for my libran six of air look you are moving away from this this stuck energy you are rising above this mental block of you not being able to you know move further away from whatever this stuck energy was this eight of swords coming in eight 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 by the way your number is eight eight popping up many a times for you and that is that constant endless cycle of energy shows me this this is the thunderbolt by the way in the tibetan mythology that's a thunderbolt yeah so you are definitely coming out of a storm <laughs> eight of air let's continue on the la left side oh wow look at you four of wands rising above the storm and working for your stability four four by the way six of cups this is what you are moving away from from whatever past stuck energy that was there for quite a long time i hear for quite a long time six of cups could also be a karmic cycle that you are wrapping up now you have six 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 by the way this is a number of inner reflection if you have not yet done some self-analysis it's time to do that though it seems like most of you have been doing that that's how you rose above that cloud you rose above this mental block and now it seems like some opportunity is coming your way you're really looking forward to that even though you know it was just uh whatever idea for some it wasn't how you were thinking it might come your way or when it would come your way nine of pentacles but whatever this idea is is gonna make you feel so good about yourself 
so independent you're going to be self-reliant one more time this is also kind of breaking mental blocks and freeing yourself from that in a way that maybe you did not realize that you would be doing or you are doing which you might realize later how you landed up freeing yourself from this mental block the page of fire is where i'm taken to page of fire spirit this new energy coming in the blocks getting lifted and the new energy is coming in look 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 we have the seven of wands and the seven of swords you are definitely freeing yourself from this self-sabotage from this mental block energy and you're standing up for yourself this is that confidence coming back this is you holding your ground this is you working this is 777 beautiful number so many angel numbers popping up for you guys that's a very lucky number 777 for you should i okay no okay six of fire is where i'm gonna go to the success self-sabotage whatever crap foggy blah blah stopped and you rose above that and now you're standing and holding your ground and working through this as a king of wands look at that so much of fire so much of passion so much of determination i see after the king comes the queen of wands what a beautiful flow here you are so confident your eye is on the target you are sitting there like a boss you're like i'm gonna claim my victory this is affirmation happening so strongly what beautiful manifestation happening here queen just as you're bringing balance back in life you are finally claiming your power this is your major arcana this is you feeling confident about who you are finally finally rising above the storm the nine of air spreading your wings ready to take that leap look four of cups is coming you are definitely taking that opportunity whatever times lost whatever opportunities lost was whatever this loss is now you're not focused on that there is a book in this kid's hand you've learned your lesson and you've manifested this new beginning and the divine is coming to you with that new opportunity that is going to work for your long-term stability it's slow and steady wins the race kind of a feeling this really is where should I go? The fool. Okay. The fool. That leap of faith that we were talking about. Taking that cup. Taking that hand of divine. So very well in tune. As I said, energy alignment. So very well in tune with your higher self. Listening to what you want to do. Not bothered about what people are saying. Lots of calm. Mental peace you feel. This is all happening after this tower moment. Or for somebody, this could be a sudden move, a sudden opportunity showing itself out of nowhere. And you are asked to, you know, take that leap of faith and go for it. For some, this was definitely a tower moment for you. That storm that we have been talking about. And now finally, you have gone through that storm. You were in the eye of storm. You have risen above it. You have unblocked yourself. You are going to take that opportunity and you're going to work through things. You feel the confidence. You're bringing your zeal back. The mojo is in place now. So very well aligned. Beautiful. And you're very, very focused to work through things. Yeah. Eight of look so many ha oh, leap of faith look fool coming up again so so focused on creating this new world for yourself empress coming in a new beginning coming in you know something that you are definitely working for this could be nine weeks nine months that is going to take for you to finally you know reap the benefits but it definitely is now in the process the cycle has kick started six of swords again six 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 four times six you have got and seven four times seven four times six four times seven four times eight i mean seriously 
Wow. So very focused. There is going to be a lot of work for this, by the way. I'm told. Do not think that it's going to be like, you know, easy beasy lemon squeezy. No, you will have to put in hard work in here. You will have to do your homework. But it doesn't look like you're shying away from it. You're not. You're like, I'm very focused on leaving that stone behind, focusing on my well-being, focusing on my freedom, focusing on my financial stability. Not just in general, but for some, it is financial stability coming your way with that nine of pentacles and that four of wands and that knight of pentacles again. The nine of pentacles with the knight of pentacles coming together is you are working through it. It's not going to be a fast, you know, lucky draw or some kind of a windfall. No. -uh. However, having said that, you do see things moving in the right direction. Yeah. Look at you. What beautiful, beautiful flow. Queen of Waters. Let's go. Oh, no. Seven of Earth. Okay. Wow. Lots of redirection. Probably there has been lots of redirection. Every time I try and go to an energy, I'm told, no, uh, 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 wait, first address that. So maybe that Four of Waters that's coming in again and again, the Four of Cups, is you being redirected again and again by the universe, where now finally you're fitting in. You know, the arrow has finally hit the pumpkin. <laughs> yeah. And you've worked through that. You have. Look, Hermit. You've worked through that. You've taken the time. And now you see. You see what you need to work through. And you're going to work through that. But you took time. And there was, for some of you, there was this time when you isolated yourself to kind of unwrap this whatever thing was to realize or understand as to what the fuck is happening with my life something like that and now comes that calm that sense of peace that okay i got this figured now i just need to have that big pinch of you know pixie dust <laughs> and take that leap of faith and believe that i'm gonna float i'm gonna fly you know one happy thought and you can fly hangman this is you being up in the air, even if it is upside down, looking at things from a different angle. This is somehow taking me to very Peter Panny feel. This is you having fun now, even if it is taking time. This is also taking time. Hermit is also taking time. You know, Knight of Pentacles showing is also taking time. Seven of Pentacles is also taking the time. But it doesn't look like it's bothering you in any way, which is absolutely fantastic because you're like, I'm just so glad where I am, the way I am at this point in time, having the time and the sense of peace, that inner peace to look at things from the angles that is going to help you illuminate your path forward and you do not have to see the whole path you just need to see a few steps further and then there's something you're gonna deal with it with that sense of perseverance that seven of pentacles coming in the patience the perseverance that is needed and you're gonna keep moving forward because you're gonna stay focused on your aim not gonna lose that enthusiasm that comes along with that fool queen of wands queen of wands coming twice guys i mean fuck the world you do you oh yeah oh absolutely you are so confident in the way you are going about whatever this new opportunity that has come up which could be like people are not really getting what you are doing with your life but you know you know the opportunity that has come your way, the way divine has shown it to you, it makes sense to you, so you're going about it. Simple as that. Simple as that. All right, let's get you a guidance message from the Energy Oracle deck. Spirit, please help my Librans in unwrapping this. Ha! Oh, help my Librans! You gotta come up with a strategy. That's seven of earth, eight of earth. Perseverance, patience, focus, strategy. Yes, that is what we need. 
Let us read this out for you. Making a plan. This card shows a pen, journal, compass, and key. So I feel with the compass, maybe some people are traveling. When you receive this card upright, it indicates that this is the optimum time for setting up a very specific strategy for achieving your goals, even if it is not making any sense to anybody else. Okay, it makes sense to you, you go for it. Simple. Write about the direction you want to go in. Consider any potential change in course that may be needed. That four of cups is coming again and again, you know, you've been redirected again and again until you reach that space where you did all the changes that were required, all the tweaks that were required in the initial plan. And now you stand where you stand, where you are very much aligned. And that is what is giving you that confidence. Be aware of the particulars regarding your goals and have some conscious plan in mind. Yeah, you're not just winging it. Sure, taking that leap of faith is great, but you gotta see through things like that hermit and the hangman. Take the time, put that focus in place and patiently work through things, okay? Structure the short-term goals needed to make a long-term goal a reality. Look how uncanny this is. When I was looking at the hermit, I did say this, you know, illuminating a few step ahead. You do not have to see the whole thing, but it's going to help you keep focusing on the short term obstructs or obstacles or hurdles that's going to keep you going because you have that perspective now in place. That's the reason you are not going to get freaked out. If something comes up, you know how to deal with it because you've stayed focused. If you're not, you know what you need to do then. This card is telling you to spend some time setting things in order. It's time to take full control, add thoughts to action and set your sights on the road ahead, on the road ahead, on the path ahead. Beautiful. Thank you so much, universe, for reconfirming all of this. What a beautiful wrap up. I'm wishing you all the very best for whatever that you are going to start and for whatever that you have wrapped up. So congratulations for that. And well, it's a wrap. Thank you very much. Namaste from the land of gods.